Josh Paris is extricating that way into the back of the bus via Jaws to get two more patients. 10 for about the file on Paris is extricating to the back of the bus to get two more patients. 901. <laughs> Actually, we only got two operating today. We can actually operate three dispatches out of there with radios and computers. And what, how old? 13. What school? I go to Oxford Hills Middle School. Oxford Hills Middle School. And how did you end up in the bus? Uh, my mom works for dispatch, so she asked if I wanted to do it. Carol? I said yes, because I wanted to help. <laughs> so I came out and helped out. And, and what's your reaction to what happened? Uh, I thought it went really well. <laughs> how did you feel about being in, in that situation? I mean, could you imagine it being real? Yeah. Yeah? And what, what were your feelings? Um, it was kind of exciting because, like, to be part of it, but it was kind of like made you a little nervous because this could really happen. Right. And and you felt that if it had really happened, what did you feel? Mm, that it would be a little bit scary for the people inside the bus. And you can't imagine how the people working on it would feel. Okay. And what was your injury? Um, I had a left arm. I guess you did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that, did you get transported to the hospital? Uh, yes, I was delayed. I was an immediate. You were what? I was delayed. Because it wasn't as life threatening? Right. Right. Okay. Well, my cruiser's parked right now. I shouldn't be there. It really shouldn't be because that's the line of path that the bus took in here. There could be some critical evidence for us with our reconstruction this ride. So we make mistakes too, and I think we all got to think about this when we get the scenes. All these scenes, until we can prove otherwise, are crime scenes. So even with ambulances coming in, we this, this truck is ideal. Whoever parked this, the Greenwood fire truck, because it's on the other side of the accident, the cause of the accident is all on that side. No evidence is going to be destroyed here, yet it's here for safety purposes in case of when we arrived on scene, there wasn't, I didn't notice a ops officer that we could report to. Okay. Definitely. For all of us to learn that, we got to make sure that that person is identified too. And we should have put a vest on him as well. One thing I noticed is when we finally, when the Paris team finally got to get to a patient, there was no, there was no EM, like, they cut one person out, everybody left, and then they like, Somebody came down and said, there's another patient in there. You guys want to go in there and get them. There was no, no EMS provider with the patients. I mean, I realize in a real life scenario, you try to get 
an EMS provider was all your patients, but there was nobody with our, until when we were getting ready to pull them out, and then I looked out there and finally found an EMS provider. Okay. ...is whether people were skilled in their jobs or not, and I don't have to look at that anymore because without exception, everyone here, whether it's EMS or fire or law enforcement, knows what they're doing now, so it's no longer a matter of you know, trying to concentrate on whether they're going to do the appropriate thing for their own specific position. So it gives us a chance to look at other things, maybe a nitpick more in those areas than we would have. Uh, the number one thing for me, I, I think today, was what Wayne had did. It. You just need to get that command structure going sooner. And it doesn't have to be a formal command. if. For instance, if Jeff had just stood still in one place, 20 feet away from the bus, and let Wayne come to him and Bob come to him and whatnot, there, before they formally got together as a group up here, that would work also. So <clears throat> it was hard for me to even tell what was going on for a while, because he's 20 years younger than I am, and I couldn't keep up with him <laughs> going around the bus. <laughs> so, <laughs> So I was kind of guessing at what he was initiating for command and stuff in the beginning. Uh, but thankfully he slowed down and, and I decided well, to get a handle.